a while back I saw this video for um, this home replacement called Sweeter Home and it wasn't up yet so I had time recently and um, started messing around with it uh, it's pretty cool it's 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 different from other home replacements in that this is really the first one where you can it's sort of like Photoshop where you, these right down here are, are actually images like this right here images and you could put these images anywhere you could just grab them off the internet or from your phone and just put them anywhere and then assign different actions to them in other words like you can you can have this be a button or you could have it do something like um, they're called springboards it's very buggy this thing it's in beta right now so you could have this and then you could also have it like launch a widget so like Facebook will come up different uh, actions for each one so you know these this picture really isn't doing anything it's actually like a layer on top of it like if you press edit theme you'll see what I'm talking about like if you long press on this you'll see that little box come up and then you can edit it and so if you know how to use Photoshop I guess I'm not great at it but I think it, it would make a lot more sense and then you got a top window so you gotta get out of edit mode you got a top window it's like a calendar and then there's a bottom window too and then you can assign you know different things to this too like this will go to um, market <clears throat> Okay, and then these up here, I actually edited this theme myself. Um, just started messing around with it and kind of customized it. But there's um, there's a bunch of themes on this. Um, go to themes. This is a cool feature about this. Like you could just download the like the. I don't think the the themes ever get downloaded to your phone. What they do is um. It sort of just like grabs them from the internet and then you could like share them so like Mine's I keep uploading every time I, I um, make a change to to the um, To the theme I'm working on and then um, so just I save my work in case I screw something up and then other people if they see this They could also download this too um, There's some really nice themes on here like I'll, uh, Windows 7 there's just tons of themes, and you you could you can like search like this, go by popularity, rating, recent, or just search for something. Um, I'll, let me see. Uh, try. Uh, um, this is a theme that I just downloaded, and um, I'm gonna give you uh, this is. Now see this theme that um, I just downloaded. This is a negative. This is kind of annoying. Like when you go to the themes, all the all the wallpapers you're seeing, um, like it looks great on here, but there are two things. Number one, the wallpaper usually doesn't come with the theme that you download. Sometimes it does, but most of the time it doesn't. And then the second thing, like this this image down here, whoever made this theme, so you click that, like all these actions come up, but. Even if you have the widget that's supposed to go there, most of the time it won't be installed. You won't have the right widget installed in there um, or shortcut. Um, even if you have it in your phone, it won't put it there. So you got to do it yourself. Um, a lot of times it won't fit right. Um, say like this one should have been a Facebook. It's not big enough, so you're going to have to go edit that make it bigger. Um, it seems like this app was really geared towards developers um, cause it's super confusing man like I'm pretty good with these phones in general and um, it took me like two hours just to um, just to figure out basic actions how to, how to edit these actions and make them uh, do the things that you want it to do exactly um, but at the same time there's a lot of promise in this app and um, there's a ton of potential, like the limits are, the, end, the uh, possibilities are really um, endless with this thing. 
So if you have the um, the patience or the know-how uh, to figure the, these kind of things out, I think you definitely should check this out. You go to the um, Sweeter Home website, uh, sweeterhome.com, and then go to, um, I don't know, along the toolbar you'll see, you'll see a, um, a beta Android 2.0 and later. The only reason why I got this is because A Home doesn't work anymore with the 2.1 update. So I'm just trying to... Um, have a backup plan sort of with my phone in case I get sick of the uh, sense I want to change it one day so um, good luck if you try to get this uh, app later